video I'm gonna show to you so we're going to unbox the all new Blade GT version 2 in this video I will share to you the basic specs and overview of Blade GT version 2 if you are new in this channel please subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated for my upcoming videos this is the box of new Blade GT version 2 so first I will show you what's written in the box so in this it's mentioned model Blade GT 2 net weight is 38 kg and gross weight is 45 kg size is 1368 by 308 by 618 mm okay so let's check in the box of a blade gt version 2 okay so now let's open the box of the new blade gt version 2 this is the application manual so this is the application manual and next is the scooter manual and then the tools the wrench set tools okay and this is the charger so this is the charger of the uh, blade gt version 2 um, 67.2 2 ampere okay so now let's do the unboxing of the uh, Teveron Blade GT version 2. So this is the uh, Blade GT version 2 looks like after I remove in the box. So first step that we need to do is we just need to raise this stem pole. So as you hear the click sound so it means the stem pole is locked already and this is the second lock same with the tiviron fighter series version next step that we need to do is we just need to install only this um, handlebar okay after we assemble the handlebar so the second step that we need to do is we need to charge the electric scooter in order to activate the bms of the battery so first step we will charge the scooter after we charge the scooter we need to cut this wire so as you can see here there is some excess wire at the front under the neck so we need to cut here in order to spin the motor hi right, guys now let's test to turn on the uh, Tiveron Blade GT version 2 so this is the NFC card so only have to do is we need to tap here so as you can see the lights is turning on and we need to press the power button here okay so as you can see the display is turning on so i will share to you the uh, basic parts of the uh, tiberun blade gt version 2 so this is the uh, tft display built-in tft display and this is the nfc switch okay and then this is the lights button okay and then this is the control button here and also the trigger type finger type throttle okay so just to change the gear you just need to press the minus plus or minus sign as you may notice that the handlebar is u-shape okay and this is the headlight Okay, so as you can see now the headlight is at the top and different design also this is the stem pole so as you can see it includes also the LED lights it's written here blade GT2 and this is the stem lock here for folding and this is the motor so the motor is 1 5 watts times 2 and the tire size is 11 inch 90 by 65 by 6.5 and also the spring is spring tight suspension 165 mm and as you can see also the swing arm is different compared before with the blade gt version so this is different now and also guys this is the damper so this is for your protection it includes also but the difference is the frame of the damper is attached in the neck 
and also the brake is full hydraulic brake blade brand so as you can see here and this is the uh, brake lights okay and then the suspension is spring type suspension and then the footrest it's here so i think the footrest is like a 3d printed type not the uh, metal one and also the stand is different also they upgrade okay so usually guys no need to assemble anything except from the handlebar so after you receive the blade gt2 only handlebar you will assemble and the rest is assembled already and also the rotor this is 160 mm and this is the fender so as you can see same with the tiburon fighter series fender okay right, so now let's check the lights so once i turn it here so as you can see guys the stem pole also is changing the lights and here this is the uh, signal light left and right turn okay even the lights the deck lights is changing also or blinking and up till here and also this is the brake light so as you can see once you press the brake lever the mat is almost the same previous with the blade gt version one only the difference is here written blade gt with color orange so now let's check the suspension of the uh, blade gt version 2 spring type yeah so the suspension is very soft i already removed the deck screws of the uh, tiburon blade gt version 2 so now we will check the actual battery and then the wirings of the uh, blade gt version 2 so now let's check the batteries. Okay guys, so here it's written lithium ion battery pack specification. So produced model is dual 60 volts 26 AH. And then the pack model is 16S 10P. So the battery is the DMEGC NRII. 18650 26e 60 volts 26 ah 1560 watch hour okay so and this is the serial number of the battery also now let's check the wirings of the blade gt version 2 so as you can see this is all the compact all wirings of the blade gt version 2 okay guys now let's test the top speed in pre-wheel with a battery percentage of 60%. So this is gear 5. So as you can see, up to 87 kilometers per hour with a battery percentage of 60%. Okay, so now let's talk about the basic specs of the Tiberon Blade GT version 2. So the basic specs are 60 volts, 1500 watts motor times 2 with a battery of lithium battery 26 AH and with a top speed of 85 kilometers per hour based on manual. And the controller is sine wave 35 to 40 ampere and the tire size is 11 inch tubeless or punctured pre-tire the suspension is spring type suspension and the display is built-in tft display switch is nfc switch and then the brake is fully hydraulic and the maximum capacity weight is 150 kg and then the net weight of this electric scooter is 38 kg and that's all the uh, basic specs for now of the uh, Tiberon Blade GT2. So later on, I will create the uh, separate videos in order to tell the full specs and full details of the uh, Tiberon Blade GT2.